happy end of week one with LTQ. I'm so proud of you guys. Um, it was a great first week. It was so good to see you guys um, interacting and completing all your tasks. Um, I'm so proud of you guys that stepped up to lead. Uh, it was a really good week, and I hope that you guys um, learned some things and were challenged a little bit and are ready to move on to week two. So let's recap. In week one, you updated your personal um, website, your story, and your picture. Uh, you read chapter one. You created the join brochures. Yes, so we did. We did something. You watched the videos. <clears throat> you shared your story on social media. It was really great to read your stories too. Um, tugged at my heartstrings. Um, so week two, are you ready for this? <clears throat> we have a couple things in week two that I'm excited about. Um, week two, we're going to focus on customers because let's face it, if you are not building your customer base consistently and taking care of your current customers, um, your business is going to suffer. So week two, we're really going to, um, focus on our customers. The join brochures that you made in week one, we are going to use next week. So hold on to those. You can obviously still be using them, but know that we're going to um, pair them with some things in week three. But for week two, you have um, you have a couple of assignments, and it might feel like a lot, but I know you guys are up for it. So first things first, you're going to make samples. Um, when your business is suffering or um, you feel like you're struggling, it's really good to get back to basics and sample making is for sure a basic that um, we all need to be doing. So I want you to make 50 samples. Um, you can do the samples from Sensi Success. Uh, I'm going to share a video from the awesome Allison Dalkey where you can just slice the wax real simple. Um, any, any kind of samples. If you went to World Tour, you got these awesome samples. You are going to create and hand out 50 samples this week. That's a lot, but you can do it. Um, it can be in a restaurant um, when you leave your tip. It can be anybody that hands you a receipt, hand them a sample. It can be uh, at the bank, in the tube. It can be complete strangers. Um, hand out 50 samples this week. I want you to take a picture and post it after you make your samples. Um, part two of your assignment is that you're going to create drawing slips. Uh, I want you to create and collect 10 drawing slips this week. <clears throat> the purpose of drawing slips um, is to expand your customer base, get new customers, right? So these are kind of two parts to use with your samples. If you will, you can find these online. I created these in my Silhouette Studio. You can buy them from the store. Um, basically, it's just a way for you to get new customer information. So you can see what mine says. Um, and maybe you just highlight name and email address. Um, but basically, everywhere you are, uh, I want you to, it's real simple. Like, hey, I'm a Cincy girl, and I do a free drawing each month, and I would sure love to um, enter you in it. So if you'll fill out this drawing slip, um, I'll be happy to, uh, sorry, I'll be happy to um, put you in my drawing and you could win a prize. So there's a way for you to get um, new customers. So you're going to take a picture of your 10 completed drawing slips at some point during the week and you're going to share that. So your samples, your drawing slips, sorry, door prize slips, you know what I mean. Um, and... I want you to um, log into your contacts tab. So the newsletter that Cincy sends out, when you're when you're putting in party orders, um, always be trying to get people's email address and put that in. When you when you enter in your parties, separate it by customer, and then make sure that you input their email address because Cincy is so rad, and they do that um, newsletter every um, month, the first Wednesday of the month, they send out a newsletter on your behalf. It's so perfect. You don't have to customize it. You don't have to do a thing. You just want to make sure that you have contacts constantly going in there so they get that newsletter. Um, so I want you to go in to um, your contacts 
and obviously add the 10 new ones that you collect, but then also um, check those reports of that newsletter. Uh, the communication tab uh, under newsletter, you can see um, the specific clicks. So when that newsletter goes out, you can see who who read the newsletter and who went in to join or host or um, party. And so, the, you know, don't be like all creepy like and send them a message and say, hey, I saw that you did this. I would just, um, people that have clicked on the join opportunity, send them a private message and say, hey, did you know that it's $49 to join this month? Like, I've just been thinking about you and how great you could be with Scentsy. Um, you know, kind of plant that seed. And if they've been looking too, then that, that customer could turn a uh, potential recruit. Um, some of you introverts that are a little bit shy and kind of nervous about maybe doing the drawing slips or maybe handing out the samples, here's a way to kill two birds with one stone. Friends, family, neighbors, somebody that you are comfortable with, maybe send them to work with 10 drawing slips and 10 samples. And they hand it out to the people that they work with and they, in return, get these slips filled out and bring them back to you. I'm okay if you do it that way. Just get 10 new people uh, this week. Read chapter two. Did we say that already? I think so. Mobile office. Here's your other big task that's gonna be so awesome. I want you all to put together a mobile office. This is mine. This is a bag. This is a Scentsy bag. Hello. And in it, I have, because it's cool in Texas right now, I have, of course, Scents of the Month. I have catalogs and Scents of the Month flyers. I have light bulbs because I can't tell you, just yesterday I was in Hobby Lobby and my cell phone rang and they said, hey, I'm at Hobby Lobby and I see your car and I need light bulbs. And I was like, perfect, I'm going to check out in five minutes, I'll meet you in front of the store, I've got light bulbs in my car. So you always want to have that. Um, I have order forms in here, I have business cards, I have my cute little brochures that I created, just everything you need to work your business while you're out and about. Keep this with you all the time, you don't ever want to not be prepared. That's another um, way to ensure that you're getting new customers, right? Stay prepared, have your mobile office with you. So I wanna see these mobile offices that you create. I want you to share pictures of them, and then um, I want you to utilize them. Take them with you everywhere this week, and um, it's a great conversation starter too. If you're carrying that bag, oh, you sell Scentsy? I sure do. Here's your catalog, sample, whatever. So, chapter two, mobile office. Samples, door price tips. Got it? I know you do. Y'all are awesome. Go rock week two, and uh, I'll talk to you throughout the week. Thanks, guys.